just feel like a fool for not paying more attention. And we're back at this plant. So this is the CBHE that we were doing all the leak repairs on. Is uh, the one right there next to the, the uh, YK we just put in. So we had to place the uh, economizer gaskets. So we got those done. Uh, we did find some other small leaks. So after we did the economizer, we still weren't holding pressure. We went and found some, uh, a couple of other leaks. We got those fixed. Uh, one of them was actually that uh, insulator plate for the uh, terminal connections on the motor. Anyway, all the leaks are fixed now. We uh, held pressure without any trouble. Uh, so we're in the process of getting vacuum set up, getting that going, getting it, uh, we're gonna let it run. Uh, for a few days, get this system down, you will be able to stop, let it hold. Uh, we are having a weird problem with it, one of our Tez 8s so though. I've had several Tez 8s over the years. I think I'm on my fourth out of five years, something like that. Anyway, this Tez 8, the seals keep messing up on the, uh, on the vacuum oil containers and it keeps letting oil bypass the uh, container and drain out onto the ground no idea as to why we've already had to replace the seals once on this one really kind of getting frustrated with it we're going to take it back to the supply house show it to them and i'd really love it if they would just exchange it because this pump has given us several problems since we bought it less than a year ago uh, never had any of my other pumps do that to me. We've got several other guys that use Tez 8, so they've never had this problem. So, regardless, we'll get that straightened out. Uh, and like I said, all the leaks look good now. We are in the process of getting the vacuum done. Then we'll be able to charge it and get it back online. Until then, I'll keep you all updated and I'll let you all know how the vacuum's going. Getting this vacuum pulled and we're doing really good actually so we had uh, what four four ports hooked up to the Tez 8 we had a 3 8 to 3 8 we had a 3 8 to quarter another 3 8 to quarter and then a third 3 8 to quarter up here uh, then on the other side we had another pump running a 3 8 to quarter as well. Everything's got ISO valves on them, so we just went through. We've had this vacuum running for almost a full day. Absolutely kick butt. Uh, and we are at 360 on the microns. We've been holding at that for uh, over half an hour haven't budged so it looks like we're doing really well what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it sit for a few days and we're gonna come back I do fully expect to see those microns hold and not have any further issues now I do have another confession so I did a video the other day about that air cold RTAA that my micron gauge messed up on. Well, I have another update for that. The problem was, I, I, so I can replace my sensors on my micron gauge and I thought I had uh, put a, my, one of my new sensors on because I knew I had an old sensor that was bad and it messed up. Well, as it turns out, my sensor I had was the old sensor that was bad that I forgot that I didn't replace, but I thought I did. And so it made me think that my, uh, my gauge head was bad that the sensor plugs into when the reality was I wasn't actually using a new sensor, I was using my old one, which I knew was bad. 
So today I did a test with it, just a final verification before I just completely throw it away. It almost did. And that's when I realized, oh crap, this is my old sensor. So I got my new sensor out, hooked it up. It's working perfect. So yeah, disregard that. Uh, I'm, <laughs> hey, this this is what happens, guys. That being said, I do highly recommend this yellow jacket gauge head. I've had really good results with it. I don't remember the exact model of this one, but I can link it in the description. And these sensors they range from anywhere from seventy to ninety dollars, depending on where you get them. Uh, Anyway, I have had excellent results with those sensors and with that Micron gauge and I will continue to use it and continue to enjoy it and just feel like a fool for not paying more attention.